During the 18th century, the American people had grown tired of taxes imposed on them by Great Britain and decided to separate from them in the American Revolution. With the help of French allies such as Marquise de Lafayette, they emerged victorious and became their own nation. The French admired the enlightened ideas of the revolution and became hungry for change in their own country. Meanwhile, France was in the middle of a major economic crisis due to a large amount of debt from fighting in both the Seven Years' War and the American Revolution, resulting in heavy taxes on the Third Estate. To fix the crisis, King Louis XVI called in a stage general meeting during which he fell asleep. The members of the Third Estate believed it was in their best interest to return to the meeting the next day, but they were locked out the following morning. Fed up with their king, the representatives of the Third Estate decided to meet at a nearby tennis court in which they took the tennis court oath and swore to continue meeting until a constitution was written and named themselves the National Assembly. From there, the French Revolution received momentum, especially when revolutionaries stormed the Bastille, killing the prison guards and releasing the handful of prisoners that were kept there. The victory, while small, was symbolic to the French because it proved they could defeat the monarchical power. In August of 1789, the National Assembly wrote the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, which was a charter of basic liberties that reflected Enlightenment ideas such as the natural rights of man. Only months later, a large group of women who were tired of seeing their children starve while the king and queen lived in luxury, marched to the Palace of Versailles and demanded the royal couple return to Paris with them where they would be placed under house arrest. The king and queen would attempt to escape Paris only to be recaptured and executed in 1793. While King Louis was still in Paris, surrounding European nations grew fearful that the French Revolution might spread outside of France, so they signed the Declaration of Pilnitz in 1791 to support the monarchy. In response, the National Convention greatly increased the size of the French army, creating a nation in arms and bringing about a rise in nationalism. In the spring of 1793, the Committee of Public Safety, which was ruled by the bloodthirsty Jacobin named Maximilien Robespierre, was created to protect the revolution from those who opposed it. The committee was far from safe for the public, however, as it sent thousands to the guillotine for crimes both big and small during a period known as the Reign of Terror. During the Reign of Terror, the cult of reason rose up in place of the Catholic Church to promote reason over religion and the dechristianization of France. Eventually, because of the unjust executions of the Reign of Terror, the National Convention shut down the Committee of Public Safety by executing Robespierre, and the Thermidorian reaction stamped out any ideas of its return. The Directory was established in its place as the executive authority of France, but was soon replaced by a French general named Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon elected himself first consul and eventually emperor of France. As emperor, Napoleon re-established Catholicism and created a better relationship with the Pope through the Concordat, while also restricting the Church's power. While Napoleon's reign was grand, it was short-lived. In his attempt to seize Russia, his army was starved to death because as he conquered more territory, people ran from their homes burning all of their crops as they fled. By the time he retreated back to France, only half of his grand army remained. They were easily defeated by the Sixth Coalition that was waiting for them upon their arrival, and Napoleon surrendered his power and was exiled to the island of Elba. Not willing to go down without a real fight, he returned to France to reclaim his throne, but failed, and was exiled to St. Helena, where he later died. Even though the French Revolution did not revolutionize the political situation of France in the end, it is remembered as being revolutionary for its enlightened ideas and the vehemence with which the French people fought for them.